Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. Um, this morning I thought I'd do an update on some of the plants that I brought from Bangladesh. It's been about a week now. And um, the existing plants that I have in the greenhouse, how they fared over winter. So, two, in, two for the price of one really. Um, I'll start off with the greenhouse itself. Um, during my five, well, just over five and a half weeks stay in Bangladesh, there was a storm here in the UK, a couple of storms, and Storm Eunice uh, blew the cover off. And unfortunately, my son and my daughter, who were here, couldn't get the cover back on. And so for maybe a couple of weeks, these plants were exposed. I mean, they had been covered during the winter, it was just during that particular couple of weeks before I came back that the um, these plants were uncovered. Luckily there wasn't much damage, you can see the orange trees here are fine and just at the back if I can make my way, I've got plants everywhere, there in the corner, straight sort of pole like Plant, that's the Musa Bazju. So that's I uncovered them yesterday. They had fleece wrapping on that, so it seems fine. And what else have I got? Um, oh yeah, the oranges down here, bergamot. This is the bergamot orange, and this is my Maya lemon navel oranges um, yesterday in here it was lovely and warm very toasty so this is the reason why I brought the plants in here um, this is the kumquat that I got from Aldi and this was not in the greenhouse this has been outside all winter and it hadn't it hadn't had any water so um, the leaves have curled like this so I did give it a drink of water yesterday and this is my wrong pool lime you can see it's got a little <laughs> not a lime it looks like a little orange on it but that you know that's I don't know why they call it a wrong pool lime but that's that's what it is so that seems to have done okay got a couple of fruits on it Right, so the ones that I got from Bangladesh are here. This is my Ted's Papa. And this is my Cinnamon. This is the Kikubi I got. Um, when I got this, it had like one leaf on it. So it's, it's not suddenly dropped all its leaves. However, some of the plants have dropped all their leaves. Um, light down here. Where is it? That's the pomelo. Unfortunately, every single leaf has dropped from it, but I'm hopeful that the stems are all green, that it will continue, you know, to grow and it will grow back those leaves. And it, it, the weather starts to warm up in here. It's a little bit cooler this morning, but you know, it is what it is. Um, down here, this is one of my um, tea plants that's dropped its leaves. I've got another one indoors that's, that's fine. I mean, when I say it's dropped its leaves, they weren't, they weren't very crispy. The same with the mango here. This is one of the mangoes that actually flowered whilst I had it on the balcony in Bangladesh. So um, again, the leaves were going very crispy. So I brought it in here. It's moist. As I say, it's a bit cooler this morning, but hopefully it'll get hotter um, as the day, you know, uh, goes on. This is, um, gosh, I'm trying to remember now. I think this is another of my tea plants. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's another one of the tea plants. This, um, I didn't mention what this was. This is called, they call it the lipstick plant. It's a type of ginger and it has lovely red flowers. Um, so it's an ornamental 
plants so I've just got a few sticks of that so I'm hoping that they grow back that's my banana I'm afraid it's looking very sorry for itself and the other banana here so this is the champa so it, it it didn't look like this because I brought it in the greenhouse that's what the condition of it was in the house so I thought well it's too dry in the house even though I've got bowls of water um, I wasn't prepared to make the house really really you know moist using spray mist because it'll just spread um, mold uh, I don't want that in the house so here it is in the greenhouse hopefully it will come back to life um, as I say it's not looking great at the moment neither is that one but you know I'm sure I've got the fleece round some of them it's so that they're not too cold as I say it does heat up here in here in the afternoon um, what are those at the back ah that's my guava they've dropped all the leaves and guava I had guava years ago um, had one for seven years and it used to drop its leaves regularly so um, hoping that they will grow back and this is a flowering plant it's a morea oh, I've forgotten the full name of it but yeah it's a flowering plant that my husband really likes so it's still got its leaves I'm hoping it will grow back and this is the other mango you can see the leaves are very brittle and crispy so I don't know what will happen with that but I'm hoping that, that it's because it's moist you know the air in here is moist it will uh, help now there's a sapodilla and um, this is what it looked like yesterday before I brought it in the greenhouse so it, this isn't the result of cold this was on a bright sunny windowsill with heat um, bowl of water for moisture you know to, to and the leaves were like turning like this so I thought I'll bring it in here and you see what happens hopefully the air in here will help <clears throat> the moisture I should say that in the air should help it um, now one of my previous plants let me just show you down there that's my very large giant taro and unfortunately um, it started to rot so I took the cover off it um, it's still got little green buds appearing so hopefully it's still alive um, however one of my other plants my oak leaf papaya sadly um, got damaged in that storm when this greenhouse was blown over I'll just make sure that that's stable I'll just go outside and uh, show you this is the oak leaf papaya and you can see the base has rotted completely I think it's what happened during the storm it just got knocked over and although you can see that it's green life there you know it's completely rotted here which is a shame you know this would have been its third year of growth my other papaya is still indoors it's dropped all its leaves but it's still green so hopefully that will you know um, come back to life but I think it's this has had its day um, I have got another one of these a smaller one that's um, I've been growing since last year so it's a, you know the same as this the oak leaf papaya so uh, there you go this is one of the casualties I might as well just snap that off and you can see it's rotten through the base yeah completely rotten through there I'll leave it like that you know it might grow back from the base uh, we'll just have to see okay so um, th these are the plants that I've kept indoors um, I'm going to show you the other plants as well I've got in the grow tent but these have been in like the living room 
um, you know, seem to be doing just fine here. And so there was no reason for me to put them in the greenhouse. They, you know, the leaves have remained intact. This is a type of, um, let me just turn this around. This is a Vietnamese Malta. Malta being a type of orange. I mean, the word Kumla is commonly used in Bangladesh, but in they also use Malta as a type of orange that's commonly grown there. And this is a Vietnamese variety, so it's an imported plant. So I thought I'd get that. It's a nice size as well, you know, not too big. So I've got this one. This seems to be adjusted to the atmosphere in the house. This is one of my um, Shatkara plants, Citrus Macrotera. These are all grafted. I'm just go down there. You can see where the plastic there has joined the graft onto this rootstock. And there's another couple. Uh, one of them had already lost its leaves whilst I was in Bangladesh. It was, had these sitting on the balcony for a, a number of weeks because um, I got these at the beginning of the holiday. And so I brought them back and they were sitting on the balcony for for a few weeks. This one did lose its leaves. It had some kind of bug infestation. Anyway, I, I sprayed it and um, the leaves have dropped. But as I say, that happened in Bangladesh. And there's another Citrus Macrotera or Shadkara plant here. And these are the jackfruit saplings. Unfortunately, they've lost the leaves. So I'm hoping that they will grow back. I'm not going to dig them out of this pot. I'll put them all together in here because the, they, they all had quite small root balls. They weren't very big. So I didn't want them to be uh, on their own, so to speak. So I'll put them all together in this pot. And let's see what happens. I'll keep that there. And this is one of the tea plants. So um, the other two or three have dropped their leaves. I'm hoping they'll regain them but this one seems to be doing quite well this is a variety of tea that's grown in Bangladesh uh, particularly around the tea gardens I got this near the tea gardens itself um, this is uh, Camellia sinensis so it's a member of the Camellia family but this is where you actually get the your tea from the leaves are slightly um, they've got like a little serrated edge to them can see there and uh, this is a nice plant nice size plant as well so this seems to have adjusted to the temperature in the house so there's no need for me to move it out of here um, I've got some more plants in the grow tent I'm going to show you I'll get to those and I've also got a couple of beetle leaf plants that I'll actually I'll do another separate video on those so um, I'll get to the grow tent and show you what's happening there. Okay, so in here, my little grow tent in the house, I've got the um, Java plums. They were looking a little bit sorry for themselves. So um, I put them in here and hopefully they'll recover. Um, the leaves have gone a little bit limp. Um, one or two probably won't make it, but I'm hoping the others will. Now this, this had lost all its leaves before I got it to England. Uh, this is the, um, what they call a Sharifa, which is um, a type of custard apple, uh, Atamoya. Uh, so this had already lost its leaves, so I'm hoping um, they will grow back. And I thought I'll just keep it in here. And there's the other oak leaf papaya. If I bring this up, bring it out nice and green. So, younger version of the uh, plant that I've got out there. And also, I've got a little cutting of the um, giant taro. So um, I had these in here during my holiday 
and didn't lead a lot of looking after you know they just seem to do their thing here so and that's it really that's the um, update on the uh, plants that I brought from Bangladesh I've just planted some seeds as well some of the veggie seeds planted um, on is it Friday yep yeah. um, on Friday I did some planting no Thursday I did some planting on Thursday so I'll upload that video soon so thanks for watching everyone take care bye bye